Hey guys, this is section 7.4, complex fractions. Uh, complex fraction is when your fraction has fractions in it, so this would be an example. Uh, we're going to see two problem styles in here, one where it's just going to be like a single fraction over a single fraction, and then we're going to get a second one where there's going to be addition or subtraction happening. And so, uh, two methods, so we're going to have two different approaches. So here's method one. Uh, A over B over C over D looks terrible the way it's written, but if I write it this way, so it's just this divided by this, so A over B divided by C over D, um, then it looks like the fractions that we kind of know and don't particularly like, but we do know what to do with them, and that is to flip over the second fraction, do the reciprocal, and write, rewrite it as multiply. So if I do that, then I have AD over BC. So you can kind of see what happens. This comes up and then flips over, and then it's just going to be A times D and B times C. So I'll do that here. If I think of this as 10 over 21, and rather than doing divided by, I'm going to say multiply by and think of this flipping. So the 14 is now the numerator, and the 25 is the denominator. And so from this point, um, a lot of times people will just multiply straight across, but then you have two big numbers you have to reduce. It's a lot easier if you look at the pieces before you multiply and try to see what you can reduce out at this stage. So I see the 21 and the 14, so 7 goes into this one twice, 7 goes in three times, and then 10 and 25, uh, they both have a 5 in there. And so 5 goes into 10 twice, 5 goes into 25 five times. So th then I can just multiply, and I don't have to do the reducing because it's already done. 2 times 2 makes 4, 3 times 5 makes 15. Uh, number 3 is the same idea, just with algebraic fractions. So this is going to go x minus 5 over x squared minus 4. And then instead of divided by, I'll rewrite as multiply, so the x plus 2 is up top. And then over x squared minus 25. Uh, this is really a 7.2 problem. It's just multiplying two fractions. So remember when we do that, we would uh, factor and then cancel, which is what I did on the last example. So x minus 5, this will be x plus 2, x minus 2. And then times x plus 2, and then x minus 5, x plus 5. And then we do our cancel step, because we factored. So the minus fives are gone, plus twos are gone. And then what's left is x minus two, x plus five. And this is where a lot of people will leave it. Um, the problem is, these are both in the denominator. And so it actually has to be under a one like that. So you can kind of think of these as multiplying with a times one. Uh, the next two are the ones I'd have you guys try. So this is 14 ninths and then times 27 over 35. And again, if I multiply that out, it's going to be probably harder to see the numbers that I can cancel. Um, but from here, I can just go 9 in once, 9 goes in there three times. These would be 7s, so 7 goes in twice, 7 goes in five times. And that makes the reducing so much easier if you do that. So then 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 5 is 5. Uh, this is similar to here. So x minus 3. Uh, I think just for space, I'm going to factor this as I go. So this would be multiplies to 8, adds to 6. x plus 2 and x plus 4. And then times, so I'm going to flip this one over x plus 4 up top, and this would factor to x plus 3, x minus 3. And cancel what we can cancel. And then that's going to make nothing up top. So again, just think of it as a, you know, like a 1. And then downstairs, x plus 2, x plus 3. Okay, so this is the second problem style, and there's two different ways to do it. The first one is conceptually easier, but 
the math tends to be harder. The second one is conceptually harder, but the math tends to be easier. So if you get over the conceptual on this, um, it's really kind of the, the better method for most of the problems. Um, so for method one, what we're going to do is kind of what most people do, uh, just sort of intuitively, is they subtract these, get a number, add these, get a number, and then turn it into the problems that we just did. You know, bring it up, flip. So I'll show that one this way. I'll show this one that way. So I'm going to get eights and fours up top, so I need to get this into eighths so I can have a common denominator. Likewise, I need these both to be six. So I'll slip a little two over two right there. So then that becomes three-eighths minus two-eighths over two times two would be four-sixths plus one-sixth. And I can kind of collect terms. <clears throat> so I'll be one eighth and four and one for five six. And then this is that thing that we were just working on. So that's really one eighth divided by five six. Flip over the fraction. One eighth times six fifths. And then right here I can do a little reduce. Um, so two goes into eight. Uh, four times, two goes into six, three times. So then I'm going to have three twentieths as my result. So then the second method is harder to see what's happening, but um, easier to easier to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I got eight, four, three, and six. So what I want to do is multiply by some clever form of one here that's going to let me knock out all the fractions within the fraction. So what I need is the LCD, because um, then I'm guaranteed each of these denominators will divide in. So 8, 4, 3, and 6, uh, looks like I could do probably 24. So we're just going to do 24 over 24, which is 1. Um, but if it's helpful, you can write it 24 over 1, 24 over 1. And what that does is emphasize that this is going to all the numerators, and the denominator is going to cancel with it. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this um, where I kind of do the shortcut in my head, um, just to kind of show you how the problem flows. And then I'll loop back and explain the canceling step in a little more detail. Um, but so here, here it is with the, the shorter version. Uh, so what I'm doing here is 8 goes into 24 three times, and then 3 times 3 is going to make it 9. Because it's really like I have, this is like 3 times 24, 8's going in 3, and then 3 times 3 is 9. And I'll do a little bit more of that down here in a second. Uh, minus, 4 goes in 24 six times. Um, 2 thirds of 24, you can think of it that way too. Or 3 into 24 is 8, and then times 2 is 16 and 6 into 24 makes 4. So I'll, that's the, I'll write out the step a little bit um, in just a second, but that's how easy it is once you get good at it to just go from here to just about done. So 9 minus 6 is 3, 16 and 4 for 20. So you can see it's a lot less involved, um, but there's this kind of mystery step from here to here that definitely hangs people up. So let me write down over here what this would look like if I wrote it all out. And this is a step that, like, as you're first learning it, is probably good to write a couple of times, and then once you're able to see the canceling, um, then stop writing it, because it's kind of a pain in the butt. So this would be 3 times 24 over 8, right there. And then this would be minus 24 over 4, and then 2 times 24 over 3, and then 24 over 6. So then what happened was I went 8 into 24, went 3 times, and then 3 times 3 made 9. 4 goes in 6 times, so that's right there. 3 goes in 8 times, 2 times 8, there's a 16, and then uh, 6 goes in 4 times. So this is the math I'm doing in my head, and once you can do that, this is great. It's like super easy, uh, cuts out a lot of the work. So I'll do the rest of these as method 2. Um, on a few of them, I'll show this step right here. 
And then if you look in the um, lecture notes, I wrote it out in there. Um, it gets really big, so and it takes a long time to write, so to keep the video moving, uh, I'm going to just show it a couple of times. So these are the two I would have you guys try. Um, so we got twos, fives, and threes. So my LCD on that would be 30. So I'm going to just do 30 and 30. And like I said, if it helps to think of it that way, that's totally cool. It's still just a big one. So two goes into 30 uh, 15 times. 5 goes into 36 times, and then 6 times 4 would make a 24 right there. Uh, 5 goes into 36 times, uh, 6 times 2 makes 12, and 3 goes in uh, 10 times. So then that would be 39 over 22. And it doesn't reduce, so we're all good. Uh, here, our LCD would be XY, same as if it was 2 and 5, I'd go 10, all I can do is multiply them together, X and Y, all I can do is multiply them together. So this will be 4, um, this one I'm going to write out just to kind of show the cancel. So this is that step that I don't love to write, but I think it really helps when you're first learning uh, to write this out a few times. Okay, so then if I cancel, the X's drop out there, and I have four Y, Y's drop out there, minus four X, and then X is there, so that's two Y, Y's there, plus two X. So see if you can look at this and see how I got there. X is cancel, so I'd have a Y. Y is cancel, so I'd have the X. X is cancel, so I have the 2 and the Y. Y is cancel, 2 and the X. So again, the goal is to get from here to here without writing all that stuff. Um, this one's a little sneaky. There's, there's a little factoring that could be done. So I could write a 4 out front, and then I could take a 2 out front here. And then that lets me uh, reduce the 2 and the 4, so then this just becomes a 2. And so then 2y minus x, y plus x would be your answer. So this one would be back to me. Um, x and x squared, so my LCD is x squared. And so let's see, we would have x squared, because x squared times 1. And then here, uh, I'd have 6x squared over x, so one of the x's cancels, leaving the other one. Uh, 1 times x squared. And then here, x goes into x squared x times, or, or 1x cancels, so that's going to be minus 4x. And here, x squared cancels with x squared, so minus 12. And then that, you probably recognize, is a couple of things that would factor. So if I take the x out front, then I'll have, oops, I don't have a square anymore, sorry. Uh, x minus 6, so x times x is x squared, and then the minus 6. Uh, careful for those little easy GCFs, so those definitely get people. Uh, multiplies to negative 12 and adds to be negative 4, so x minus 6 and x plus 2. And I cancel those minus 6s, and I'm left with x x plus 2. Okay, this next one is terrible to write out that one step. It takes forever. Um, it's in the notes if you want to check it out. Uh, so here I'll do the shortcut version. So I got x plus a's and x minus a's. So it's going to be x plus a times x minus a. And then canceling, if you just kind of picture this sitting in each of these numerators, um, on the first round, the x plus a's we cancel, and I'd have an x minus a plus x minus a's cancel, x plus a. Here, x plus a's cancel, so x minus a. Minus, and then that means we need that parenthesis, um, so the sign gets distributed. x minus a's cancel, so x plus a. 
So x and x, we're going to collect terms, can't reduce yet because it's not factored. So um, x and x would make 2x, and minus a plus a is gone. And then here, this would be like x minus a minus x minus a. So the x's would cancel. Minus a minus a makes minus 2a. Um, I can reduce the 2's because now they're both multiplying, so those drop out. And we don't love the negative sign downstairs. Um, either write it in front or um, in the numerator. Those are kind of the preferred forms. They all mean the same thing, um, but these are the, the two that are generally uh, more acceptable. So for number 11, we have x plus 2 and x minus 2 in the denominator. So we'll use that to clear. And so that's going to just give us this times 1. So that's pretty much just that. And then here, the minus 2s would cancel. 1 times this. Uh, this times the 1. Plus here, these cancel. Oops. So minus. Um, so those are gone. And then 3 with the x minus 2. And again, there's addition subtraction, so I can't cancel yet. So I have to FOIL all this out. And that's our difference of squares formula. So it's just going to come out to x squared minus 4, and then plus x plus 2. Downstairs, same thing. And then that would be minus 3x minus minus makes plus 6. So then I can go, um, I want to collect terms and get to setting order so I can see if I can factor. So x squared and then the plus x. Down 4, up 2 would be minus 2. And then we got x squared minus 3x. Down 4, up 6 would be plus 2. Still can't cancel, got a factor. So x plus 2 and x minus 1 up top to get the negative 2 and the positive 1. Here I need a positive 2 and a negative 3, so that'll be x minus 2, x minus 1. Minus 1's cancel, and then that would be your, your solution. Okay, and then these last three I'd have you guys try. So we'll go right here, just have x's, so x and then x. If it helps, think x over 1, x over 1. So x times 1 would just be x. Here the x's would cancel, and I would just be left with that 3 up top. Uh, x times 4, so 4x. Four and then here the x's would cancel, and so I would just be left with plus 12. And then careful there not to miss this little GCF in the denominator. There's a common 4 there. So if I rewrite it as x plus 3, and then 4, uh, taking out the GCF would be x plus 3. Then you can see those cancel. So here's an example where we need that, think of that as a 1 up top. So then these reduce, and we're left with 1 fourth. Um, this one, number 13, we got... Hi, Ellie. Hopefully my cat will stay out of the video. Uh, so my common denominator is x squared. And so multiplying, I got x squared times 1. Here, the x squareds would just cancel and left with minus 4. Uh, x squared times 1 is x squared. x into x squared makes minus x. x squared x squared makes minus 6. So then, uh, factoring, I get x plus 2, x minus 2. Uh, downstairs, I got negative 6 has to add to negative 3. So x minus 3 and x plus 2. I'm not sure if I just said negative 3 adds to negative 1. Just make sure I corrected that in case I did. Um, so then the plus 2's cancel, and we're left with x minus 2, x minus 3. And last one, number 14. Um, this right here, 
if I factor it, I'm going to get x minus 5 and x plus 3. So I'm just going to think of it that way so I don't have to rewrite the whole thing. Um, and then what we want to do is use the, uh, the LCD, which is x minus 5x plus 3, uh, to clear the fractions. So I'll just do a big one of these out here. x minus 5, x plus 3. And so I think on this last one I will show all the big canceling step just to get into a couple of the examples. So this is just going to multiply those ones. So it'll look like x minus 5, x plus 3. And then the plus is right there. And then this over the x plus 3. I'll just write this one the other direction. And that's that fraction bar. And then this is going to be 1 times that stuff. And then over this. So that's kind of why I don't love writing that step, is it's just, it's a lot of writing. Um, so if you learn to do that in your head, totally useful. Uh, here I can cancel those, here I can cancel those, here I can cancel everything. So what this would really end up being is just x plus 3 plus x minus 5, because this just equals a big old 1, so I don't really need to put that over 1. And then collecting my terms, x and x for 2x, 3 minus 5 for minus 2. So from up here, just to try to jump this step, um, if I just think of it as the minus 5's canceling, uh, there's my x plus 3, my plus 3's cancel, there's my x minus 5. Here, everything cancels, so again, it'd just be like, it's over 1. There's no need to write it, but that's where it went to. So the final is 2x minus 2. And that wraps up uh, complex fractions.